Welcome back, everyone, to this edition of Try Hard Racing with me, World Case TV, where I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of officialness. It's time for the official, official race qualifier. We're going to go do it. It's always clear afternoon. The entire course. You need to beat 20 minutes to qualify. I have never qualified. I've never come close. But my best finish is, uh, my best time has been 23 minutes. I, uh, do not anticipate qualifying this time either. Just because I have level 4 upgrades versus level 3 upgrades. <laughs> um verify I do like the purple upgrades uh, verify yes it's a nice bluish purple too it's violet I like that that's one of my this is one of my favorite purpley colors although interesting this color is really hard to achieve well on uh, a video screen you get this weird I mean they they are purposely shading it but you get this weird, is it, there's a certain shade where it looks weird. It looks weirder than other shades because LCD doesn't handle that particular combination of red and blue very well. LCD, LED, it's an LCD. Well, oh LED, it's LED. Anyway, um, back. Uh, do I just start? Sure, I just start. What I said I'm going to do is actually try to do two... Oh, this is the free practice. I'm skipping this session. No practice. Yes. So I'm going to do a single lap around. And then I'm going to uh, change my uh, view to third person. See if that makes a difference. I don't usually like third person. I get disoriented in card games. I get disoriented in um, motorcycle games because you get turns. You you when you turn in a car in a racing game, it shows you the side of the car. What is that? I want to see where I'm going. I don't want to see the side of my car. I want to see what direction my car is pointing so I can make this turn right. And if you watch people play like professional esports people play car racing games they play with with hood view slash bonnet view bonnet cam um because then they can see the front dimensions of their vehicle but you know they can see the hood but also then they can see exactly where the vehicle's pointed they're not looking at the side of it somehow video game you know it's like they're playing race on or whatever some of the early video games are where you know they show you the side of the vehicle as you're turning that's bs but motorcycle games i don't think the third person does that so much so i may not get as disoriented on a motorcycle in third person i haven't really experimented with much but it should be easier so maybe i'll make it within 20 minutes though i doubt it it may not be easier for me because i've never done it before but i've got an hour or so and um I got an hour or so and um one lap is gonna be half an hour, less than half an hour. And uh if I start on the entire race after this, even if I decide even if I don't qualify for the official race, I can play it as a as a custom race uh, that will take more than an hour that's usually a two hour thing so uh, if I did the qualifier and stopped it'd only be half an hour if I tried to do the qualifier in the final race even if I only did half of it that would be an hour and a half which is too long so I'll do the qualifier I'll do two qualifier laps, and I'll try one in third person. 
compare how I do. Like I said, my best time in doing this course, I don't know if it's an official qualifier or just some kind of practice, uh, custom race or whatever. My, my best time has been just under 23 minutes. It was 23, 22, 50, like 58 or 59, something like that. So we'll see how my qualifier is here. It might be higher, because I think I was, when I got that 23 minutes, I was um, sub 23, I was doing several laps, playing, playing quite a bit. That play session, I was on my own. I wasn't during a stream. I don't think I've gotten, I've gotten like 25 minutes. I'm not sure I've even gotten a 25 minute, sub 25 on stream yet for, for a qualifier. So we'll see. I'm going to try my best, uh, try to focus, see what time I can get. Whoa! Uh, I was going to go full bore, and I did. I didn't hold it. It's so hard to get the turning right, because... See, this is something that I think is going to disorient me in third person. I won't be able to get as good feel for how much I'm leaning. Am I leaning enough? Am I leaning not enough? I, from what I've played before in third person, which is not a lot, I don't have a good feeling for the turns, whether I'm leaning, because you just, from behind, you're seeing the bike turn. You're not seeing the bike turn right in front of you. This is, I've heard this called um, tank view, like, you know, fuel tank view. But it's more like hood view in a car in that it's not, the road itself is flat. If, if you were actually on the bike or actually, if the camera was the helmet cam view, as your driver leans, the road leans more, right? So what's in front of you, you see the road leaning. And that's a little bit disorienting too. Well, that would be realistic on a bike. But if it was really the, a tank view, it would be leaning even more, because you know when you're leaning on a bike, you, you turn your head a little bit, so that the, though there is an angle to the road, your head is not perfectly, your eyes are not perfectly straight horizontal, um, there is a little angle to the road. Battery on my phone. I needed to uh, plug that in. I forgot, my timer is on the phone. I really don't want my phone to die, but, um... Not sure what I'm gonna do. Anyway, um... So yeah, if it was really a tank view, you see how much that's... I mean, the, the tank leans more than your head does, because when you lean, you, you turn your head back the other way a little bit to try to keep your eyes as level to the horizon as possible. It's not possible to keep it perfectly level, but you um, you lean to the right, but you turn your head to the left. So it's not as extreme as the tank. If it was actually a GoPro attached to the tank, it'd be even more of a lean to it. But anyway, so it's not pure, what I'm saying, it's not a pure tank view, but that's, you know, that's what they call it. And every racing game I've played has given you this kind of view where it's basically from the tank, but it's still with a flat. The road doesn't, the, the horizon does not change. The level of the horizon, whatever, whatever it is, the roll does not change. I don't know how, yeah, I guess it does. I'm trying to think now. Hood view, if you if you roll your car in hood view, the uh, the horizon does flip around, right? 
Oh, I'm sure it does. I I said I was gonna try, I was gonna practice third person view and try that one of these times for the qualifier. Um, it just the timing just worked out now that I two laps is all I'm gonna have time for. So. Hanging you one lap in first person, one lap in third person, and then you'll get to see how poorly I handle third person view. I can't guarantee that I won't uh, won't um, change it. I still, I think there are two chase cam views too, so I have to pick one or the other. Close chase or far chase. I'll change it as I'm coming down that final straight away. This is for crossing the finish line. That's a, that's a good long straightaway, good place to change it. We'll have to pick one. Because as I'm changing it, it's going to go through other views. That, you can't change the view while you're in the pause menu. Actually, can you? Can I do it from... No, I don't think you can. I don't think I can do it from... Uh, changing the camera from the options page. Ouch. I don't remember what button it is that changes the view. I'll have to, I will have to pause the game, look at the control menu to see what button changes the, changes the camera view. It's not the the view button on the controller. It's some other button. It's not the left bumper. Maybe it's left or right on the D-pad? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Actually, let me get to a straightaway, and I will pause. Look that up, and also... Um, Plug my phone in. This looks like a straightaway coming here, right? Um. Okay. Let me let me go to the game settings and controls and oh, front brake. Next camera is right bumper. Okay. Now I know what it is. Since I've already paused, I will grab. I'm down to four minutes on my battery. There. Do -do -do. Oh, I'm all plugged in. Dropped uh, something off the couch. All right. Okay. Right bumper. I wanted a straightaway, that way I could just hold the accelerator down and I can pause, see? Right back where I was without fear of falling off. Split every. Do they show you a split every three? I don't, I don't know. Or every one? If I can see my. It's such small numbers in the corner that if I glance up, I hit cap. No chance of focusing on it unless I look at it long enough that I will fall off the bike. One of the other things about the game, I'd like to see better rubber banding. 
I'd like to see the audio bugs worked out. Um, wider rubber banding and um, bigger letter, letter numbers. <laughs> like I said, I'm an old man. I can't. I'm I'm playing on an Xbox. I'm sitting on a couch, so I'm a few feet away, about a meter away from uh, the screen. Maybe a little more. Um, okay, a little over ten minutes. I'm not quite halfway through. I don't know if the first half is fast into the second half or whatever. Just give me an idea. I'm nowhere near the twenty-minute pace. Um, but the biggest, the rubber banding is bad. The numbers, I really cares. Um, but the biggest problem with the game, and I know I've mentioned this many, 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 many times, it's 20 minutes no matter what AI difficulty you have set. And all the timing challenges are the same. No matter what AI difficulty you have set, it's not a game difficulty, it's just the AI difficulty. And um, in the qualifying, you would see um, that the even the AI would not be able to qualify at 20 minutes <laughs> until the very last lap when there isn't there isn't enough time left for them to finish the race and when your hour is up to finish a lap and when your hour is up your your time is up they don't let you finish the final lap and when an hour is up that's it your best lap at that point is what's taken so they'll do two laps and your lap will be close to 20 minutes maybe one person or two at the most will have a sub 20 minute lap at the lowest ai level but then suddenly um at least nine people get 20 minutes because you got to have a full field for the final race. So obviously they cheat the times at the end just to make sure that there's enough people in the final race. Um, it would be better, I think, if they adjusted the time limits both for this race, this qualifying event, and for all the other time challenges based on the AI difficulty that you have set. I mean, it's not like, you know, there's a leaderboard for who has the best time, but you're not playing a multiplayer race. The, the, the timer could be different. Time challenges could be different. Whether you accomplish the goal or not, you know, the leaderboard would still show, okay, this person had the fastest time um, for a particular challenge. There's challenges throughout the game that I don't do because I can't do any of them. There's only one or two that I can do because they don't involve finishing a certain amount of time. They involve, um, you know, just not falling off a certain number of times or whatever. So I've only completed ever, only ever completed one. Because I can't do, you know, can't do the others. Just, I, can't, I can't, I can't beat that time. I don't have the skill to beat that time. So, the fact that I can adjust the AI difficulty is nice, even though even the lowest AI difficulty is too difficult for me. Um, it's nice to be able to change the AI difficulty, but the timing challenges, I cannot turn down the difficulty of the AI challenges, or the time challenges. So, I, I get to not enjoy the game as, as fully as as other people who are of better skill, which to me, that's a big pet peeve of mine in racing games, that there's no reason in racing games that you can't do that, right? It's just a clock, and you adjust the clock. I understand if it's a, you know, if it's a platformer, which is a big example I get to, you have to be able to make the jumps, and you can't make the jumps. Although there is one platformer, Rogue Legacy, where you can actually turn on modes where you can jump farther or you can even fly through the air. So you can turn down the difficulty. 
of the, of the actual physical challenges as well. But in a racing game, it's incredibly easy. You just you know, make the cars go slower. Make the you know their AI cars just make them go slower. Give yourself more time. Which in motorcycle racing, that seems to be at least in this game and in ride that have time challenges. I've got ride four. I can't even start the career mode, let alone finish career mode in ride four. Ride three, I could, because the structure is different. You could ride two and ride three. Um, ride three especially was good because it was multi-threaded. You didn't have to, for doing different races, you would get different amount of experience points and you need to get through enough experience points to get through the next uh, they didn't call experience points but basically that's it to get get to the next stage of your career which if there were certain timing challenges you could skip most of those or get just one star instead of three stars on those and still get enough stars just based on the based on how well you did against the AI, you can get enough stars to progress to the next level. But, um, Ride 4, it's single, it's single thread. There's a single progression through that you have to, before you can get to race B, you have to finish race A. You have to, uh, you have to check off race A before you can get to you know, it's all, you have to do every race in order, and you can't go do the next race or the next challenge until you do the first challenge. And they're not all races, some of them are timing challenges. And the very first one is a timing challenge that I cannot get the time down. It doesn't matter how low or how high you set the AI difficulty, you have to do that challenge in that amount of time. And I cannot do that first challenge in that amount of time, which means I cannot even get to the initial race of the career mode. <laughs> Try though I might, I can't even start career mode in that game, which is a shame because I really like, really like the game. I really enjoyed race two and race three. Race two, I think, was single threaded, but you didn't have to get it. You know, you could qualify for the end even without meeting the sub goals race three it was you had a count you didn't even have a calendar you had picked different events and in uh isle of man 2 you had a calendar and you could pick different events on particular days on the calendar which would allow you to qualify get enough qualification points to qualify for the final race but this game, you cannot qualify for the official race unless you do it in 20 minutes, and you have to do it in 20 minutes even if you're good enough to do a lap in 12 minutes, which I think some people have 12 minute laps. The, the actual record is 16 and a half minutes. Uh, but of course, you can go faster than that in a video game, you don't have to worry about killing yourself going too fast. Um, but I think the fastest lap in the game, I, I could look it up for what it is on the Xbox. But this game is not cross-platform, so it's just the Xbox scores. But watching, you know, maybe I can go to speedrun.com or something. What's the fastest lap score? I think it's around 11 minutes. 12 minutes, on sub-12. So if you can do a lap in 12 minutes, you can do a lap in 20 minutes without even thinking about it. So if you, you would play, if you can do a lap in 12 minutes, you're playing against the highest AI level. I don't know how fast the highest AI level can do a lap. Um, it's, even the highest AI level is probably too easy for you. Um, but if you're playing at the lowest AI level, even the lowest AI can't do 20 minutes. Now, since I'm not even competitive with the lowest AI, I might not qualify even if they scaled the the qualifier. But again, they, they would not make the qualifier. I'm sure at the highest AI level, lots of people would make sub-20 
and even if they made the highest AI level qualifier 16 minutes, you know, the, the highest AI could, could do it in that. My guess is they hold people back so that there's only nine other AI qualifiers. Well, that's top 10, so other people can. The human player has to get 20 minutes, but I don't know. I can see at the end of this whether positions 11, 12, 13, I think they have supposedly 16 people do the qualifier. Whether those positions, um, you know, whether everyone, whether there's only nine AI that qualify, or in this case, 10 AI, because I would not have qualified or whether more than 10 got the timing of the qualifier but didn't finish high enough to actually be in the race. So in other words, on the highest AI level, they might also hold back the AI just so that they only have a certain number of qualifier. Coming near the end of this first lap. That's right bumper. I looked it up. It's right bumper. I don't know how many cycles I have to go through to get the right one. I will do near chase if I can. I think that'd be less dis least disorienting for me if there's a near and a far. Might have to cycle through a couple times to get the right one. I could also go back. Maybe that's the best thing to do. Just go back to the garage, and then while I'm autopiloting, I can adjust the... Uh... That'd be a fair comparison anyway, though it wouldn't give me my best chance. Although, I don't know, autopilot gets up to top speed before you take control, so... I don't think it matters in the video game outlaps from hot laps, because your outlap... The autopilot starts far enough back that by the time you take control, you're at top speed anyway. Or as close to top speed as one could get in that amount of time. The AI on autopilot, you know, fully accelerates. It's pedal to the metal. but it's wrist to the metal. I don't know. <laughs> wrist to the kettle. Wrist to, it's, it's not pedal to metal. It's wrist to the grist. Wrist to the grist! That's it. What's well, comparable kind of to the pedal to the metal, but on a bike? Well, it's not a pedal. It's the handle. Handle to the mandle. Alliterates with metal. Handle to the Randall? Standle? Give me a word that rhymes with handle. That makes sense. I'll come up with something. Okay, go back to the pit box. And then we'll, uh, we'll go to track again. And, uh, actually, let's see. Can I adjust the camera? No. See, it's blanked out. I can't even do it in the middle of the... Normally, I could change the game settings to camera. You can't do it in the middle of a race. You have to just do it during a race. I'm pretty sure I could. Oh, I can't even... I can't do it in the middle of autopilot. You can't change the camera in the middle of the qualifier, apparently. Well, there goes that idea. Oh, wait, you can. Okay. I just couldn't do it in autopilot. I think this is the near cam. Fire cam might be better, but uh, I think, yeah, see, as I'm leaning, the road stays straight, and you don't see the side of the bike, so this might actually be quite a bit easier, as I can see the, uh, oh, see, it doesn't, it didn't matter, I still couldn't 
Well, I mean, it may matter, but I still couldn't. Um, I can't get the feel for how much I'm leaning. Yeah, that's bad. I can't get the feeling of how much I'm leaning, how much I need to lean from this camera. Let's... Oh, that's near cam. Okay. Far cam is first. Let's see if near cam is better. And I like how they changed the audio so it sounds like you're farther behind. Let's see if I can do this without chattering too much so I can really concentrate. <laughs> can I go for 20 minutes without chattering? The answer is no. I never earned very many nickels as a kid for sitting sitting quiet for five minutes. <laughs> if you can if you can sit there quietly for half an hour, you'll get fifty cents for half an hour, no problem. Dad Is it half an hour yet? <sighs> Darn. <laughs> What you doing? What you doing? You watching TV? What are you watching? Oh, sorry. Shh, shh, shh. It's supposed to be quiet. Oh, it looks like gun smoke. I like gun smoke. Oh, sorry. No. Nope. Never earned any money at all from sitting quietly, as an adult or as a child. Don't get me anywhere near a church. <laughs> well, I mean, I have other reasons for not going anywhere near a church. But, the fact that it can't be quiet is among the reasons. <laughs> I mean, I, I tend to burst out in flames when I get near a church. Which is not good. Uh, but I also can't be quiet. Oh. The kitty's here for more food. I think he's gonna run out. I might have to pause or get my roommate to cross in front of me. She's gonna try to cross in front of me or maybe she'll go around me to the other side. I'm prompting to her to get to his, uh, to get to his food. And uh, cause he needs, if he's in the mood to eat, he should uh, be given more food right away. Is, does he need more food? No, okay. He's still eating though. He might need more food when all is said and done. Let's see. He's not due to be fed again until six, so I'm thinking about changing the schedule, see if we can make it four times a half day rather than three times a half day just to give him or make it, I'm not four times, but make it three servings. Because right now he gets two servings, two fresh servings out of the top, out of the bucket. And then he's actually given three servings out of that. Put them in little Tupperware things, but the Tupperware things. I don't think maintain the smell as well as the bucket that has all the other oils and stuff in it, so. I don't know. That would be awkward. I'd have to prepare his food three times a day. Right now his food is prepared, prepared, and it's prepared because he gets powder on half of it. Uh, lacks of the powder on half of it. You have to prepare it. Figure out how much to give him in three sets, which would not be easy. Because right now he only gets like an eighth of a teaspoon, teaspoon twice a day. I guess two of them could just be powdered, one could not be powdered. 
Right now it's twice a day, so it's every three hours, six and six. And then he gets some more food out of that little pre-prepared amount. Uh, to, at, at nine and at 12, which works out well for our schedule. My roommate schedule and she does the six o'clocks and then I do the nine and twelve o'clock. She loves my cat, just not as much as I love him. And the feeling is mutual. Everyone loves the kitty. Everyone loves Tuna. He's the bestest boy. He, he cuddles with me. As he's gotten older, he's cuddled more and more, but he always was a snuggler. Oh! I feel like I am doing better. Uh, I don't know if my time's gonna reflect it. But I feel like I am doing better. I might want to go back to the far cam halfway through if that another chance. I I felt more out of touch with the speed and the leaning from the far cam, but I could see more of the road. If this works, if I can't get sub-20 in this view, um, I don't think I would play the whole game in this view. I mean, I don't think I would... I don't, I don't, maybe I could actually beat the AI on this view, I don't know. At least not get ninth place by a mile. It's hard for me to believe I would get sub-20 in this view. If I get sub-20 in this view, I should be able to beat the AI, because like I said, only one or two ever qualifies. I really don't like third-person view, but then I started playing SnowRunner, and in that game, you have either in-cab view, you don't have a hood cam view, you have in-cab view, or which is not cockpit view on a truck, unless it's a racing truck, I guess. You have in-cab view, or you have third-person view. And the third-person view is disorienting to me, because even if you, it's the same thing, even if you don't adjust the camera, which you can adjust the camera to swing around and look at different, different parts of the truck. And it's the same thing in... In first-person view, you can adjust, use one of the joysticks, not the steering one, but the other joystick to adjust your camera. And it's, it stays fixed if you move, if you bump the camera to the right or to the left, and then you release the stick, it doesn't recenter your view. And the steering by default is the same way, but you can set a setting so that it does center the steering when you release the stick, which is the setting I play on, because... It's not realistic, but it's what I'm used to in video games. But I never got used to the chase cam view. Imagine that. Oh! I usually make that turn in first person. I didn't recognize it as quickly. I'm going to actually switch back. I don't think I can change the view when I fall off this, so I have to get to a... Switch back to the long, the long chase cam. I have to go through the helmet cam views. So. When I would play chase cam, when I'm forced to play chase cam, I usually do farther back chase cam, but in SnowRunner, it does 
you do, even if you're lined up with the back of the truck, it does turn your camera. You do see the side of the truck as you go around turns, which is very disorienting, and I, I don't like it. I wish there was a hood cam view, or at least... Because you can so easily change your view orientation to the truck, you can you know, swing it around so the camera's at the front of the truck looking back, which is useful because it's a truck. If you're backing up, you're going to want to do that, or if you want to look at your trailer and you're trying to hitch to a different place, whatever. Although we do have a trailer view, too. When you're carrying a trailer, there's, you have three views. There's in-cab view, third-person view, third person view of the cab and the, or the truck and then third the tractor and then third person view of the trailer but I would like it if they had a, a fixed camera either but doesn't it doesn't have to be hood view but a fixed camera view that when you adjust the camera it, it doesn't adjust the camera unless you adjust the camera. It doesn't automatically... It doesn't automatically go to second person view. Okay, let's... Ah! Yeah. Oh, wait. One more? No, that was far. This, this is far. Yeah, see, this still looks close, so... Okay, that's, you can change your view, but it snaps back. It's a snapback camera. It's not snapback in SnowRunner. But it's still, as your truck turns, it, it does not follow the truck as it turns. So you end up seeing, even if you... All you do is pull back your view, or maybe adjust the height of your camera... So that while you're standing still, you're looking straight on the vehicle. It's still, as you turn, um, you start seeing the side of your truck in traditional chase cam auto racing fashion, which kind of drives me crazy. I get completely disoriented when that happens. I mean, why do they do that? Possibly that started because you can't see the wheel turn from straight back as easily as from the side. So as you turn, you can get to see, get feedback on the tires and chase cam. I guess. I don't know. I don't know why they started doing that in a race. You can see which way they're pointed. I mean, hood cam view is a thing that is actually easier to manage. You can't see which direction you're pointing. If they had something similar, even if it's a chase cam. I, I can orient myself to which way the vehicle is pointing, not the tires are pointing. Although, I guess I could see in a game like SnowRunner where you might want to adjust the angle of the wheel tires to be exactly a certain way. Like if you're trying to get out of a situation, you're, you're caught between two stumps or something in your vehicle, you want to turn it. Oh, I was going to say, now see, that was better, but now I still, I can't get the orientation of how much I'm leaning. Even, even from the far chase cam view. At least I'm still looking straight down the center line of the bike. I'm not looking at the side of the bike. Still, I have to figure out how much he's leaning one direction or the other is harder to do for me in the chase view. Oh, 
I'll compare the two times, and I'll have to make some adjustment for the fact I'm not used to this view. If I get comparable times, like if my times are both you know, within 10 seconds or something of each other, then I'll know that this is probably long-term a better view. But... Um... If this takes me longer, if, if, in other words, if, well, if this takes me the same exact amount of time or less time, then I'll know that this long term might be a better view for me to try the qualifier in. I still would not play other races in this view, though. My guess is it's going to take me longer or if it's exactly the same time with a little bit more practice, I might be able to shave off a few seconds, but I'm not going to shave off three minutes. If it's, if I get a minute less time in this view, then I'll know, oh, with a little more practice, maybe I will be able to shave off those three minutes. But, but if it's like less than a minute better time, then even then, it's not going to be worth it to me. And obviously, if it's worse time, then I don't think it's going to be better for me. I could practice it more. Maybe all my qualifiers, I'll do the same thing. Do two laps, first person and third person. Or I might just try the next time, do it in third person all the way. Since I know I'm not going to qualify in first person anyway, I might as well try to qualify third person. Do a couple laps of qualifiers. See. Or maybe if I've got some time. Oof. If I've got some time at the end of the stream. Um, if I've got 20 minutes left at the end of a stream and my choices are do a lap of this. Or if I've got, you know, half an hour, do a lap of this, or I have to do three laps of a 15-minute race. Well, it'll take less time to do a lap of this than three laps of a longer course. I might as of a, I mean, a shorter course, but three laps would take longer. Most courses are about 15 minutes, I and mean, one is like 10 minutes, but most of the courses are like 15 minutes, and the qualifying, or the actual races, not the qualifying, the actual races are three laps around that course. So I've getting, gotten in a situation where, okay, I've done a, I've done a qualifier, I've started the hour with a qualifier, which has taken me less time i've done a race which was a straight line less time and now i've done a qualifier and i have 20 minutes left in the stream that's too much not enough time or in the video the youtube video that section of the stream before my break that's not enough time for me to do three laps around a 15 minute course and yet I've only done a half an hour. That's probably too little time for me to do to end uh, end that stream segment and the YouTube video. So sometimes that's why having the uh, other events to do or other other practicey things to do are nice. So one of the practicey things I could do is practice third person view on this course. See how close to twenty minutes I can get. Well, we'll, we'll compare the times. See how I'm doing. I know I'm already at 20 minutes. So I'm not going to get certainly sub 20, but see how I get. He said if it's worse than my first lap, then it's probably not going to get better. If it's significantly worse than my first lap, it's not going to get better even more practice. After after a bit of this FARC chase cam, I think I, 
I think far chase is the better one than close chase because the, the far, this is this is the far chase and it's still not it's still pretty close. Compared to far chase on a lot of games, this is still pretty close. I do like the animation. I think that's I know that's something in change in ride. I don't know if that's something in change in here. I don't think it is. But in ride you can change how far the knee goes out and what angle and whatever as you customize your driver. Customize the lean animation, customize the finish race celebration animation, stuff like that. All these little things that are meaningless as far as the actual performance of the game, but adds a little extra color to it. Of course, in Ride, you can change uniforms. Oh, that reminds me, I haven't gone, gone into Ride for, for a while. I created a sticker that uh, is uh, the shock cat emoji, which is kind of my thing. They have a shock face emoji as a sticker, but not cat, so I added adjusted the mouth some, added whiskers, added ears, added a nose so it looks like a cat. And um, in Ride 4, you can make those things public, and then you get some credits for it. What the credits go towards, I don't know. They don't help you in the... Uh, they don't help you at all in the campaign mode, so... Uh, well, I do know what they go towards. They're like money credits. You can spend them on new bikes and upgraded parts for your bikes and stuff. But it's pretty easy to grind out the money. I was talking about grinding out levels and in SnowRunner, previously on the stream, you can, you don't have to grind out money as much, I suppose, but you can grind out money by just, you do an oval, you can do the tri-oval in Daytona, and finish in first place on one of the higher AIs, because um, you don't have to worry about turning all that much. So even on the on the low against the lowest skill AI. Okay, let's um This is the one. Oh I don't get oh wait, there's a way to see individual laps. Oh, do I have to end it? My best lap, 23 minutes and four seconds. But it's not telling me which lap it is. I'm assuming it's the second lap. Um, do I have to end the session? I guess I have to end the session. I suppose I have to end the session. I know there's a way to see it. Maybe there isn't a way to see it here. I thought there was a button I could press give me individual laps no I'm not getting any laps it's not even showing my best lap because it's just DNF I'm gonna have to sit here until Ugh. well this doesn't help me at all 23 minutes how's what's the difference between my laps and the challenges you can see in the actual races you can see your best lap I think you can see individual laps times. Well, this did not help me at all. I think I can assume, though, that it was the second lap. That was 23 minutes. But what was my first lap? I don't know. I could have looked at it when I went to the pit box initially. I could have looked. But I didn't because I didn't think I had to because I thought I could see the individual lap times. I hit continue, will that let me? No. Yeah, I know, I didn't qualify. Ugh. Well, that's uh, frustrating. That's the deal, right? That's the acceleration. 
That's the acceleration. That's the straight first one. One of the views, one of the one of the tank views are um, as you accelerate it moves the camera back and forth, which is also very disappointing to me. Oh well, I did not qualify. I am not going to do the race. See, if you do it, if you do a custom event, you can, um, what is it? You can do the tourist trophy race. So you can mimic the actual race that you didn't qualify for. But I've done the last two times I did that. I did that for season one and two, but then the game was upgraded and for seasons, what, this is season four. So I did it for season one and was fine, but then season two and season three, the audio cut out. Or maybe it was, I had something else that was a four lap tourist trophy. Maybe it was just three laps. Anyway, after two laps or just before my second lap, the audio cut out in the game. And I can't, couldn't restart the game. Yeah, I think the first two seasons were fine, but then season three in the middle of the season, it was a three lap race around here and the audio cut out. I don't know. Maybe it was just two laps and the audio cut out. Anyway, it doesn't work. It seems to not work. If I try to do a four lap race, it says number laps four to six, and it's based on your class, since I'm doing the super sport class. Right on the super bike lap class. Oh, I heard crinkles. I think I bumped the mic. Um, or not the mic, but the cord. It's so finicky, but only in this game does the microphone crackle like that. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of quirks to this game. Let me tell ya. <laughs> Bugs and quirks and difficult designs and all kinds of other things. Uh, but, okay, 23 minutes, just over 20. There's like 23.04, so I think there might be a chance that I can get better with third person, the far chase cam, but I don't think I'm going to get better enough to do it in 20 minutes. But I'll try the next time I qualify, or maybe I'll actually, you know, bite the bullet and play the game off stream sometime. <laughs> see how fast I can do that but next next uh, session here both on stream and on YouTube I will be starting um, let's go back I will be starting uh, upper left corner there I'll be starting season 8 oh that is the mic hold on an hour or so it starts doing that even though i don't bump the mic it starts doing that only this game i thought it would help to plug it in that doesn't seem to help i thought it would help to um clean the contacts that doesn't seem to help anyway i have a rubber band around the cord weird so that i can keep it in nice and tight every now and the cord around the plug Anyways, maybe next time I'll try the combination of all three. Unplugging it between hours, keeping it plugged in, not on battery, and cleaning the contact. See if any of that works for more than an hour. <laughs> all right, folks, that's going to do it for me today. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. I'll see if there's someone to raid. If you're watching on YouTube, that's it for this episode. Next episode will be out next weekend day at our uh, next weekend evening saturday sunday 6 p.m u.s central time on stream saturday starting at 12 30 p.m u.s central time check my schedule on twitch for other stream times you uh, twitch.tv slash rollcage underbar tv slash schedule um on youtube just look at when the videos come out <laughs> monday through friday at 6 p.m. is Civilization 6. That's been a long-running series of mine. Fairly long-running. I'm on, I think, my sixth game now. And my games take me a long time. I'm 
just started playing six games ago. Um, it's Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock noon, U.S. Central Time. Snow Runner, big deal. New series, brand new series. That is streamed on Sundays, starting at 12.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. That's my longest stream. It goes six hours or something like that. I was in the compared to the four hours or so of my Saturday stream and the three, three and a half hours of my weekday streams. Weekday streams of Civilization Six, Tuesday, Thursday, starting at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. And I think that's all the schedule stuff I went through. So uh, consider subscribing to me on YouTube. Even if you're watching on Twitch, consider please consider subscribing on YouTube. Trying to get to 100 subscribers. Uh, stuck around 90 right now. I got up close to 90 and then fell back down a little bit. Had a big burst, but uh, that burst just slowed down. So, if I can get to 100 subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to set up a Discord channel. Got a couple of people that said they would help, but they're going to run out of patience if it takes too long to get to 100 subscribers. So, uh, please consider going over to YouTube and subscribing. Anyway, whenever it is, YouTube, Twitch, VOD, live, I do hope you have a great afternoon, great evening, great morning, great whenever until I see you again. And wherever you end up going, on the road or in life, be sure to enjoy the drive. All right, Twitch, I'll see if there's someone to raid. YouTube, bye-bye.